guys, welcome back to another video. And as you can see, we're taking a look at my second loot crate, month of June, which is the transforming theme. So I haven't opened this yet, but I did cut the tape just to save some time. So let's go ahead and open it up. Move your shirt out of the way. Take a look at the at take a look at the shirt at the end. Got a nice little vinyl twig, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Take a look just to see. And like a lot of ba blind bags, there's an extra. Well, like a lot of the blind boxes, there's the items in the back too. And that's just to help from people uh, open up the boxes in the stores and then see what's inside. Most people aren't going to open it. If people are given an opportunity, they'll open up the box, check out what's inside. If it's something they want, they buy it. Something they don't want, they put it back on the shelf. Which ends up leaving a lot of empty boxes. Well, a lot of open boxes in the store. So doing like this keeps keeps that from happening. No. So inside the package, we got this guy here, and it's um, I'm not exactly sure who it is. It looks like one guy, but it also looks like it could be the other guy too. Oh, it's gotta be him. Which is sideswipe. And he's going to be uh, 2 out of 16, so probably not that hard to get. Let's see, 2 out of 16, 2 16, 2 16. Yeah, so it looks like they're all about the same kind of rarity. 2 out of 16. I have never seen these in a store, but they do look pretty nice. Well, th well this one does anyways. Get the arm rotation here. Got a wrist as well. Ooh, pretty stiff. He's got head movement, which will go. It's a little bit up and down, but it turns side to side. I don't know if it goes all the way around. I can feel a lot of resistance on mine, so I don't want to force it and break it. Oh, and he has leg movement as well. This is actually pretty neat. I like this. Little info card. I guess I could have just looked at the card to see who it was because it says his name right there, Sideswipe. If you can read it. Accessory wise, let me see how, how this goes. In the back. Oops. Gotta follow the peg. And peg it in. There you go. And I got his front bumper, well, the hood kind of headlights, and Autobot symbol. On the back, you have a spoiler, so, yeah. See those guns fit in there properly? Yeah, it seems to fit pretty good. Although, looking at this, I'm not sure how to get this on him. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Maybe not like that. He doesn't have. An, he does have an extra gun. I'm not sure how to get it, how to how to get it in his hand, but. Or how to attach it to him. I'm sure you guys, someone out there knows how to do this right, but I'm not going to do it, force it, and try to break it, break this toy, because I actually do pretty, pretty, I do like it. It's pretty neat. So let's put that to the side. Next item, 
a wristband. Which a wristband is just like a wristband. The only difference between this one and any other ones is it's MLG. What is that? A transforming transformer. Oh, hex bug. Alright. I really don't have no need for this, I don't think, but my nephew might like this might might like this, so I'll let him have this. It is kind of neat. I don't own these, but my nephew doesn't own any either, but he'll probably get more entertainment out of this than I would. Warheads. So you get three pieces of candy, three different warheads. You get another pin, which is Loot Crate June 20, whoops, Loot Crate June 2013, 2014, Transform. Autobots sticker, looks pretty nice. MLG sticker sheet. An MLG card with some things. There's two codes in here that I don't want to, you know, of course don't want to put online. And I'll read into this a little bit later on and see what exactly this is. So there's that. And then finally, you get the magazine. Some Transformer movie stuff. I like the magazine like this. It's a whole lot better than what we got last month, which was just a digital download of the magazine, which was kind of crappy because I would have preferred like this. And for the magazine, I thought they normally showed what... Oh, yeah, they did. I just didn't pay attention. There's like the Mega, Mega Crate stuff, which had one of the Transformer things. X plug, which looks like a larger one. San Diego Comic Con exclusive Metroplex, Nintendo Wii, Wii U Pro controller, and a 32 gigabyte Nintendo Wii U system. Now, time for some final thoughts. Oh yeah, before I do the final thoughts, I almost forgot about the T-shirt, which is actually pretty neat. I don't know if you can see it too well. Marty McPrime. Which is Back to the Future Transformers, which is pretty neat. I think you can see it enough. You can see the name of the character, what he is, Time Traveler. You see, it looks pretty much like, well, a Transformer way of doing Mar the McFly. It has like the orange vest like thing, and the DeLorean. So this shirt is actually pretty neat. So now, let's take a look at my final thoughts. So here are my final thoughts, and a quick little look again at all the items you get inside the little box. Overall, it's like again, like like the adventure crate, another hit and miss. Although I do really like this little guy, and I really like the shirt a lot. This I might not use too much, but it could probably help out at work a little bit. Magazine is pretty nice, gets a little bit of information. The candy might be a little bit of a waste, but I'm sure my nephew would like this. My nephew would probably like this as well. The pin is pretty neat because, you know, you collect them and you build up your collection. So yeah, the price of the crate plus shipping is com comes out to about $20, so that's pretty much for this price. You, again, you're paying for the shirt and you're paying for the little guy. So pretty much for me, personally, in this box I'm paying for the t-shirt, an exclusive loot crate t-shirt, and this little guy, which probably would have been about 7 to $10 in store. The shirt probably be about... I would say probably about 10 to 15 maybe. So just between those two together right there, it's already, you know, paid for itself pretty much. Magazine is pretty nice. Like I said before, I like it. And so overall, this is worth it to me. It'd be worth it to you even more if you get, if you, well, if you like the hex bugs, you'll probably like those a lot more. I think those are about 8 to $10 at the store for, for a regular hex bug. I'm not sure. I haven't seen these ones in the store yet, the Transformer ones. So those ones might actually be worth what well, it might be cost more in the store. The sticker for the Autobots is also kind of neat. I'm not sure what I would use it on, but it is pretty nice. So overall, the Loot Crate June 2014 Transform theme 
I have to give it a thumbs up. It has some hit and miss stuff, but overall it's a pretty good looking set. Things I want, things my nephew can use, and yeah. If you're a fan of Transformers, hopefully you got the set coming to you already and you can pick it up. Or if you don't have the set, you can always just wait until they hopefully release it in the, the Loot Crate store where you can buy it on there. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it somewhat informative, got a little bit of info out of it because if you haven't seen what the stuff was it, what was inside of the stuff, then now you know. Of course, pretty much everything's gonna be the same between person to person, except for two things. That's gonna be a mix of different characters, and this is probably gonna be a mix of different characters. Everything now should be the exact same thing, except for you know shirt sizes and stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it informative, got some information and all that kind of stuff. Hope you come back for more. Check out my Facebook page for any more information, updates, and all that kind of nice stuff. And if you liked the video, come back for more. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.